Good morning, everyone. This is Ahlam Al Amri from the General Directorate of Infection Prevention and Control of Healthcare Facilities at Ministry of Health. And today we will cover um, uh, the element number seven. It's related to the disinfectant and antiseptic supplies, which is um, uh, included uh, behind the, the domain E, which is related to the supportive services department and related measures. Element number seven uh, of disinfectant and antiseptic supplies consists of two sub-elements. And uh, when we are evaluating or auditing uh, these sub-elements, uh, the activities should be around the document review, staff interview, and observation, which is um, the alternative uh, word uh, or letter for the document review is letter D, SI for the staff interview, O for observation. And the scoring process will be 0, 1, 2, 0 for not emit sub-elements, 1 partially emit sub-elements, and 2 fully emit sub-elements. Sub-element E-7.1, uh, it's related to the infection prevention and control team, is involved in the evaluation and bouches of antiseptics and disinfectant supplies. So in this sub-element, we will evaluate the, the, the uh, specific statement uh, by using two um, methods of activities, document review and staff interview. The first activity for evaluating uh, this sub-element, it will be about the document review. So um, we we'll review the following doc documents, uh, such as the request that um, uh, sent from the hospital leader, such as the hospital CEO, medical director, head of medical stores, head nurse, or head of housekeeping staff, or head of CSG, and etc. So they are requesting and sending emails or requests uh, to the infection prevention and control uh, department and request them and ask them uh, for their um, evaluation and uh, recommendations uh, regarding a specific um, uh, antiseptic or infection prevention and control related supplies. So the document review method for auditing this sub-element, it will be through the request, as we mentioned in the first or the previous slide, and it can be through the availability and checking of the approval forms and purchasing orders that is already available and requesting the recommendations and approval and assessment from the infection prevention and control department before the purchasing any disinfectant or supplies for any infection prevention and control um, equipment required for implementing the infection prevention and control program in any healthcare facility. Another activity or method used for evaluating uh, the sub-element uh, E7.1 is through the staff interview. So the staff interview can be through asking and staff interviewing with a specific responsible department or healthcare worker. For example, by asking or interviewing the head of IBC department about the process of assessment and approval uh, before purchasing any new equipment or antiseptic or disinfectant used um, uh, for implementing the infection prevention and control program in the healthcare facilities. And also, uh, it can be um, uh, asking or staff interviewing with the head of medical stores about the process of purchasing. Uh, of any new equipment or antiseptic or uh, disinfectant uh, solution required uh, for disinfection and um, cleaning in the healthcare facilities. And it can be through um, uh, asking or staff interviewing with the head nurses in a specific department or the heads of the CSSG department in regard the uh, supplies required or solution required for implementing the effective and appropriate uh, uh, disinfection and sterilization process in the CSSG department. The second sub-element, which is uh, E7.2, it states that antiseptic disinfectant and detergent disinfectant are used in accordance with the current scientific guidelines and recommended practices. And this sub-element will be evaluated or audited through document review, observation, and staff interview. So the first activity it will be about uh, reviewing of the available document in the Infection Prevention and Control Department. So you can ask the department or the team in the Infection Prevention and Control Department about the list of approved antiseptic and disinfectant or detergent and disinfectant with related documents, uh, which is essential for the safe and effective uh, usage. 
So uh, you can uh, check the, the material safety data sheet attached to this list, the EBA uh, approval for this list, and also if uh, we can compare if this list is uh, uh, is based on the current scientific guidelines and recommended practices and approved by the MOH. The second method or, uh, for auditing this sub-element E7.2 is through the observation. So uh, the auditor can observe different departments, especially clinical areas, to ensure that the available disinfectant or antiseptic are is based on the list that's observed or, or, or checked in the infection prevention and control uh, department and consistent with that reviewed list and also uh, to check that or observe that the use of antiseptic and disinfectant or the de detergent disinfectant in different clinical areas is according to the instruction listed in the material safety data sheet. For example, if we are checking the quaternary ammonium for generation and it was listed in the approved list of the uh, approved disinfectant uh, by the infection prevention and control department, we can check the material safety data sheet to check if the cleaner or housekeeper there are they using that the same uh, disinfectant quaternary ammonium based on the uh, uh, manufacturer instruction for the dilution and contact time. And the final or the last activity used uh, to uh, evaluate the sub-element uh, E7.2 is through the staff interview. So the auditor can interview uh, with the IBC practitioners in the infection prevention and control department to confirm that they are familiar with the guidelines for different antiseptics uh, based on the approved list. And also they can interview with the staff involved uh, in the use of the antiseptic, for example, the housekeeper staff in different clinical areas uh, and to check if they are familiar with their guideline for use and aware about the material safety data sheet instructions in regard of usage and storing and dilution and contact time of a specific solution or disinfectant or antiseptic. Thank you so much for listening for this uh, session. And if you have any inquiry or question, please do not hesitate to contact us at any time uh, through the coordinator of the auditing uh, program at the GDIBC or through the coordinator at the Regional Directorate of Infection Prevention and Control in your region. Thank you so much.